again, there are some other blocks in here, like there's quick mail for sending email out to students and things like that. But the third block that I wanted to really call out is a block that's called text. And if you've been using as you learned for a while, this block was originally called the HTML block. Um, since that block was used to add text to the block area, uh, it's been renamed to text because that's what it is. It gives you a chance to add rich text with images and videos and stuff like that, uh, or just formatted text. So I'll show you two examples of how I use this. The first is I love to include like an instructor information form type of deal so that my students know who am I, how they get a hold of me. And you can just use a text block for that. So there's no block called instructor information. This is a text block that I named instructor information, uh, just like you might name a Word document, right? Uh, I've got my name, phone number, my email address, a link to my Zoom personal room, and a link or a list of my office hours so that they know when they can catch up with me. Um, this is great for persistent information for the course so that my students know that this is here. I've also used this block in the past to do things like add support resources to the course. So maybe if this is a writing intensive course, I want to include links to the writing center and maybe, uh, you know, Belk Library. Uh, if I am seeing a higher number of accommodations, I might make sure that the Student Accessibility Services Office has a link to their information in my course that the students can always access. So this is a really flexible block because you can add anything to it. Um, and again, it's just a text block. It's not called support resources. It's not called instructor information. It's just called text, and then you can give it a title, just like a, a document, right? Uh, so this is your block drawer. If you ever want to add or remove or rearrange anything in here, Again, it's just editing mode on, right? Because if we want to modify anything in the course, including in the block drawer, you turn editing mode on. And if you've been using as you learn for a while, you will probably welcome the change that the link to add a block is now in the block drawer itself. It used to be over on the left at the very bottom of this menu that lived over here on the left. Uh, and now it makes a lot more sense to have it here. So <laughs> I'm a big fan of that.